Now I'm going to show you a very easy SEO technique that you can use to move your website into the number one position, targeting the featured snippet. Now, even after Google rolled out its recent AI overview section, the featured snippet still drives a massive amount of traffic to whatever website holds it. So in this video, I'm going to give you a chat GPT prompt that I use to take over the featured snippet almost every time. Ahrefs did a study of 2 million featured snippets and saw that on average, the featured snippet steals around one third of the clicks from the number one ranked organic result. So if you have that number one result, you can prevent people from stealing a third of your traffic by also going after the featured snippet. And if you don't have the number one result, you can still get a massive amount of traffic by earning the featured snippet. The method I'm gonna show you here, it's gonna take under seven minutes and it will not require that you have any advanced SEO knowledge or strategies or tools. We're really going to rely on ChatGPT to help us rewrite content for what Google is looking for in the featured snippet. So here's the website I'm going to use about this. It's a sport fishing charter in Biloxi, Mississippi. So the first thing we need to do is find queries where we're ranked reasonably well and has a featured snippet. Again, from that Ahrefs study, most featured snippets, something like 99% of them, come from URLs in the top 10 organic search results. And the vast majority of them come from websites that are in the top five. So. When we're looking for queries that we want to target and get that featured snippet, we're going to focus on queries that have a featured snippet and were already ranked in the top five. Ahrefs makes that really easy to do. So here's the Ahrefs data for this particular website and we can come to organic keywords. And once we're into the organic keywords, we can hit SERP features and tick the box for featured snippet, hit apply, and then hit show results. So what we're looking for here is a search that has a featured snippet where we're already in positions one, two, three, four, or five, ideally. So this is the one that comes up, is deep sea fishing dangerous? We're in position five for that particular query. Now it's a low volume query. This is what we would expect. This is the local website. So it's not built to get a massive amount of national traffic. And usually when you're going after this, especially if your website's relatively new, it's gonna be fairly long tail keywords you're going after. But hey, getting traffic is getting traffic. So then we're gonna come on over to Google and we'll just type that query in. And we have the AI overview on top. And then we have the featured snippet here from French Quarter Magazine. And if we scroll down a little bit, we get our result, the uh, side bet, the sport fishing charter in Biloxi. So we're going to head on over to ChatGPT. So here we are in ChatGPT. I'll move this down so you can see ChatGPT for Omni. And we're gonna paste this prompt in. And don't worry, if you head on over to my school community, which is completely free of charge, I'll give you this prompt. You won't have to pause the video and, and grab it. So what we're going to do is uh, this purple highlighted as the actual snippet that Google chose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this content and copy it, control C, and we'll come over here and we'll paste that right here, current content and URL that has featured snippet. And then we'll come over to our content and we'll paste that there. And the last thing we're going to do is grab the actual featured snippet, which is right here. Okay. And basically in this prompt, we're asking ChatGPT to analyze the content for the featured snippet is deep sea fishing dangerous. We're telling her that we want to get that featured snippet away so that it should please suggest any edits that we can make to our content so that it is more likely to get that featured snippet from the French Quarter magazine. So here's the output that we're getting, which is a very direct uh, clear edits, uh, it's bolded everything that it's edited, which is what I asked it to do. And now that we have this information, we can go readily, we can log into the WordPress edit, uh, the WordPress admin for our website and make these edits. Okay, so here's the backend editor. This might seem a little complicated if you're not used to looking at this. This is just a very inexpensive one. You might have uh, more of a graphical interface with uh, boxes that you can drag around, no problem. But here, we're just gonna make some of these very direct changes that ChatGPT is recommending. And because I don't wanna wait a huge amount of time, I'm then going to ask Google to recrawl and re-index it. So we go ahead and make these changes. Um, I'm not gonna do that on camera. And I'm gonna head on over to the Google Search Console. Okay, so I pulled up the Google Search Console for this particular domain. 
and we'll grab the URL and we'll just paste that URL into there. It's on Google, but I'm gonna hit request indexing. So what this does is it's telling Google, hey, I've made an update to this page. I'd like you to recrawl it and re-index it. Again, this would happen normally if we let it, uh, but I just wanna show you guys uh, how quickly we can actually get the featured snippet for a targeted search result like this. All right, and uh, this page has been requested, so, in, so Google is now going to go and crawl it again. So usually, after I make a change like that, just a couple of small content edits, I'm going after that featured snippet, I'm gonna give it a week to two weeks. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this recording and come back in a week and see what has happened. One week later. All right. So here's a screenshot of what this search looks like now. You can see that our sport fishing charter in Biloxi now has the featured snippet for is deep sea fishing dangerous? Uh, very excited to see that. That will result in a lot more traffic to this particular website and you can see how quick, how easy it was to make those edits, to make the changes with ChatGPT's help. So now that you know how to use ChatGPT, how to use AI to steal featured snippets away from your competitors, your biggest problem is probably getting into the top five or top 10 results organically. So I want you to check out this video here, which is going to, again, rely on ChatGPT's help to get your existing content to rank higher for queries it's already ranking for.